Hello there and welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial with some easy peasy stuff which is a death pit or a place where for example you got this player and then well he can shoot those evil crap guys here and then he's falling down and then oh we are not dead. So basically here we need an area where we're falling and then we're getting teleported to well somewhere here somewhere here somewhere here depending where we are and I've seen some complicated ways how we can actually do this so let's ramp it up and let's make it of course super easy because eh, life is short and videos should be even shorter so let's go and make this so for that super easy approach we just need two objects and come on let's make them one is called the death pit and here I'm gonna go really creative artistically so let's go for do, 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 do. Um, this is just basically a rectangle which we're gonna put in the bottom let's make this ultra ultra fast because hey no, nobody got time for that here we go 16 by 16 and yeah let's go creative and finished <laughs> as you can see i'm kind of lazy in this kind of regard then give it the sprite which we just created and put that thing I don't know, on one of the layers, doesn't really matter. Bam! Then once, for example, the player is falling, we're gonna have a collision and then it's checking like, hey, okay, we collided, let's teleport the player, I don't know, somewhere here, here, here. And these are safe spots. This is a thing which you see quite a lot of times in other games. For that, OBJ, the safe spot. No. Spot. Here we go. An object and, of course, an super cheap sprite as well so SPR safe spot let's make this ultra ultra cheap because hey why not we can and let's go 16 by 16 hopefully I'm not boring with, with this kind of stuff because hey this should be easy peasy and quickly done and let's make it this nice green dot so we can actually see it and then hey assign this little sprite to it and then what do we do? Well, we plant those objects safe spot here, I don't know, here and here and I don't know here. And basically, then once we have a collision with uh, our player on this specific area, so he's falling through it, then it's just checking, hey, let's teleport me to, I don't know, this spot or this or this, depending where, uh, which one is the nearest of all of those. So let's go and basically then we're pretty much done. So let's go into our death pit. And here we can have a collision and then wow, entities for me it's a little uh, more complicated as you can as you can see quite a few and with our object player and then what do we want to get and grab basically just the nearest instance of our save spot so how can we get this well easy peasy so we go for instance nearest xy and then bam and what do we want to do? Well, we want to teleport our object player. So the thing which we are colliding with. So this dude here. So therefore we just say, hey, other X is then where teleported because we need to teleport it. Well, to the thing which we're going to store into a variable. So here, var near, I don't know, let's call it just near. Then for example, the nearest instance will just grab one of those things and then get back, get back the ID. So near and then the nearest X and the nearest Y. And here we have a little problem, not really a problem, but we don't want to have uh, well the X and Y position of our death bit. We want to have it of the other one. So it is checking the nearest instance near to the player. So therefore. We just need to add, come on, add this one, and then we are pretty much done. So let's check it out. If it does work, come on, it needs to work. So let's go. Here's the newest instance, and we are teleported there. Great. And then, uh, and as you can see, pretty easy peasy safe. Actually, this is uh, not just a death pit, but of course, hey, uh, you can do quite a lot of things with it. So basically, you can use it for a safe system so the nearest thing or i don't know for death pits so for instant death traps and so on and one little entry uh, if you guys are waiting for the udemy course i am too <laughs> it is finished 
that Udemy uh, needs kind of a verification thingy and therefore eh, I guess it will be ready by Monday. Of course I will let you guys know because I have the trailer. It's finished, everything is finished. Just one up and he is waiting for, I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I guess for something, for a miracle. So it finally appears. But without the rambling, I'm checking out. Have a good one. One up indie.